What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today I am doing the unboxing of the new iPhone 7 that just came out. I got the 128 gigabyte version of the small or regular size iPhone. I thought about going for the plus, but I just, I couldn't do it, man. I just like, just the thought of me bringing that thing to the gym every day, it's just too much. So I got the 128 gigabyte of the matte black regular size iPhone 7. And if you're an old subscriber, then you know that this is a brand new haircut. Don't worry, the video is coming out on Tuesday. I'm really excited to show it to you guys because I think it came out really good. If you're not subscribed yet, then make sure you do because you're gonna learn a lot about fashion, fitness, and hairstyle here on my channel. Okay. Let's get to the unboxing of the iPhone 7. This is my first jump in numbers in terms of iPhone, so ah, there's nothing more satisfying than doing that. Now, as you guys can see, I got the regular size matte black, so I didn't go for the jet black. I just felt like it would get way too many fingerprints on it, so I decided to go for this one. Um, I have the space gray on the 6S, so I'm gonna be comparing these colors as well as size, uh, et cetera. So let's see, is there anything else in the box? There's this paperwork from insurance, etc. Don't need that. Okay, but this is what we needed. Let's get right into it. Let's start opening this up. And let's see what's in here. So as you guys can see, the first thing that comes up is this design by uh, Apple in California, which is pretty cool because I live here. So it's pretty nice seeing these little things that Apple does. And then we can pull out the phone itself. Now, the phone feels very similar to the iPhone 6S, to be honest. There's really no difference in terms of like how it feels in your hands. Now, we do know that the home button is gonna feel a little bit different, so I'm excited to see what that's like. I haven't touched it yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and just see what else is in the box here. If you're looking at it from here, it doesn't look any different than any other iPhone, right? Because you have the block, the power block, and then you have your earbuds, your, your earphones. But we know that in the back, now you get this dongle that goes from the aux cord to lightning. And this costs $9, so it's actually not that expensive if you lose it, and I'm sure I will. Um, I, it, it is gonna kinda suck having to carry one extra thing around, but it's, you know, it's all good. Hopefully the, the lightning cables will come handy in the future. And this is what the ear uh, buds look like now with the lightning end on it over here. Inside the box, we also have a lightning cable for the charger that connects to this power block. So very standard, nothing new here. We've seen this before in other iPhones. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's just uh, open this up and see what it looks like. Ooh, here we go. Ready? Fingerprint free. Okay. It looks really good, man. I have to say, I think I made the right choice by going with the matte black. It just looks so clean and stealthy. Like, this is definitely the color that I've been waiting for uh, on the iPhone since I got my first one. Like, I don't mind the space gray. I think it's cool looking, but this is just so stealthy and sexy. Like, it's so different, right? You don't see the antennas anymore. They're very well hidden, so there's no lines. Like, this is really, really sleek. And as you guys know, there is no headphone jack on the iPhone 7. Everybody kind of saw that coming anyway, but it was still weird seeing it on the big screen. But really, the biggest change that we'll see on this iPhone on a day-to-day -day basis is the home button. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot this up, and I, I have to say that this home button Nothing happens right now. I'm clicking it. There's well, I'm not clicking it because there's no clicks It's just a piece of glass and I wonder if they're doing this so that in the future Hopefully in the 7s they can actually just get rid of this bottom bar here and just have it all be one Screen right since you don't have to click it. Why can it just be one big screen? Oh Now I can feel it. So there's the the haptic feedback once you press the home button. We're gonna go ahead and, and choose English. Okay, so this is what the home screen looks like. Obviously, <laughs> doesn't look any different if you already have this uh, iOS 10 on your other iPhones. There's no difference at all whatsoever. So if you have the 6S and you're thinking about upgrading, you don't have to, you could definitely wait. There's not a huge difference between the 6S 
and the 7. Now, if you're getting the 7 Plus, then maybe you should upgrade just because of the dual camera. Like that is pretty cool, but then again, you're carrying that huge phone around, which is just not for me. I did buy a case as well, so I went to the Apple store today and I picked up this uh, silicone case here. I hate cases, I think it's it looks bad, it's bulky, but at the same time, I do drop my phone once in a while. Not very much, but once in a while, unfortunately, it happens. So I decided to pick it up. Let's open this up for you guys right now as well. I've actually never had an Apple case before. And it feels really nice on the phone and it looks really good too. So I'm glad I bought this. Uh, I feel like I'm not gonna let it drop because this grip, this rubbery grip here is really good. This is my first Apple case. I've always had like these other cheaper cases. This one is see-through, which is kind of cool because you can see the phone through it, but it also gets really scratched up. So this just feels sturdier, better, and I feel like I made the right choice. Now, you guys have been asking for a what's on my phone video for a while, so expect that. Now that I have the iPhone 7, I will be doing a what's on my iPhone 7 coming very soon. And please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you wanna learn more about fashion, hairstyle, and fitness as well. That's all coming very soon, as well as other vlogs and travel vlogs. I just posted a Morocco travel vlog that was really, really cool. Just got back last week. It was an amazing trip. And don't forget guys, the hair video will be out on Tuesday, so make sure you check it out. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Alex Costa. Go check it out. All of that info is in the description below. Okay guys, I will see you soon. Peace.